This tutorial was brought to you thanks to the supporters on the screen. Check out tapjiles.com to find more Dreams resources, donate to support my work, or engage my services to get private instruction or help on a project one on one. This tutorial looks at the animations of MM's Sunset Mood contraption, remaking the animation flow logic to be more robust to handle edge cases. These principles can be applied when animating all sorts of things. Okay, but then when it's uh, dipping for water, that doesn't seem to work properly. So it's still playing through here because it's got the drink thing. And if you, yeah, if you um, disable it and then enable it again. So I think the, the, the problem is that we're allowed to turn it on again before it's finished drinking and then it gets all confused. Uh, so by default, it's just idle. And also after some time, it goes into this mode. But it seems to always be the same time, 8.7 seconds. What we could do is make a timeline that has this stuff for 8.7 8 seconds. And that will do the same thing. It will just power these things during that time. And then we can put this thing, let's just remove those and put that on here. And if we expand it with L1 on right, we can see a second takes up more of the screen so we can snap that perfectly. So then when it's uh, gone into animating mode, then we'll power that timeline. Yeah, let's see if that works. It should do the drink after 8.7 seconds. So cute. If we get it to fly off, it's fine. And then it should be able to come back. Cool. But now we can adjust this for testing. We can just say only last for a second before we start drinking. Yeah, and we still have that problem. But the the like animation is has a lot simpler logic basically. And if you wanted to, you could just put these into the timeline. Oh, okay, then we need it to loop. So what we really want is we want it to only be able to fly away after it's finished drinking, so that it's not like stuck in the middle of this. Yeah, once it starts started drinking, it should it shouldn't be able to stop, I guess. I bet we could get it to kind of skip to here and then come back up and then fly away sort of thing. So I think what we'll do is change how the animation flow, the logic flow of the animation works entirely. Uh, so that it was all on one selector and all uh, controlled by one thing. So I'll just move these out. So by default, the this this mood thing is off. So we'll have that be A, because that's the default from A. And I'll just add a, um, a node that's just through, so that it doesn't have a port going outside. So this is just to kind of remind me that that's, this mode is meant to be doing nothing. So that's fine. Yeah, so then, this one will be enter scene, this one will be idle, this one will be fly away, and basically you're only allowed to move from one to the other at certain points. So we'll have a node and we'll put it into no port mode so that it's not got um it's not going out or in of the actual chip, it's just saying within the chip. And I'll have that going through and into B. So when a signal goes through this into B, B will become the active channel and send out a signal to power into scene and it will stop sending a signal from A into none. So at the moment when we play it, it will just start it because that's how it's uh, set up and the bird will kind of animate in like that. But then we don't want to allow any of these others to work while this one is playing. So what we'll do is we'll add a keyframe that turns that node off like that. Uh, 
so I'll play through there and to block these other ones so we'll have these other things like that uh, then we want one for the top as well so that one will set it to none that one will set it to idle and that one will set it to fly away right so while we're flying in we don't want to allow any of these others to work so we'll turn those off if I have a timer so that's constantly trying to set um, fly away but it's being blocked we need to make sure this isn't hanging off the end so if we just tap that now it, when it gets to the end it will just stop being powered because otherwise it's hanging off the end and even when this is going over here you can actually see it's trying to power whatever's to the right of it which is still the keyframe so if we just tap that then it won't be trying to do that so if you watch that it will play through and then it will be allowed to fly away so if you watch that it comes in and then flies away so that's fine we'll add keyframe on here and scale it up this should block going into reset and and trying to enter and trying to fly away uh, no it shouldn't it shouldn't block flying away because we should be able to suddenly stop and fly away because this is uh, that, that should look just fine so if we constantly try to um, idle now it comes in and it idles and we want it to go into idle mode after this finishes so we actually want to wire that on end trigger into idle uh, yeah so we can just remove that and see what happens so it should play and f fly in and then start idling uh, all by itself uh, but when um, not allowed to reset it so if I try that it keeps trying to reset but it's never allowed to it just stays in idle but it is allowed to fly away so if we give it a longer time and put that into fly away oh it's going into uh, fly away but fly away isn't blocking the enter mode so let's just add that first so that should block reset and enter and idle and that should last the whole thing right and after fly away happens it should go into none mode because nothing else should be happening so flies in does some idle then tries to fly away and yeah because this is still on it it immediately sets it to that one thing is though that we want this none mode to block um, fly away and idle because the only thing we should be allowed to do is enter so when should it fly away when that is false oh, I guess it should be yeah because it, it does it here um, they have a signal manipulator in customary mapper mode it pulse it off so that when this goes from on to off during the play of the scene then it will send a pulse so now fly away so really that should block enter and none the whole time because from idle we should only be able to go to uh, fly away so let's put that all the way to the end just move that trim handle again with X and if I go into play mode and immediately try to fly away it flies away fine um, but when it goes in for a drink it still flies away fine but comes in like halfway through because this is set to sustain so when it becomes unpowered because of this 
um, it still remembers where it got to. So if it was there and then the timeline becomes unpowered and it goes into fly away mode, then when it gets back to this um, timeline and powers again, it will continue from there. So we want to make sure that always resets. So we'll wire that into restart timeline. So like that, takes a drink and bring it back. And it starts the idle from the start again. So that's cool. But we wanted to block, block it from changing if you're in the middle of drinking, because otherwise it looks a bit weird. It kind of snaps up, but it would be nice if we could get this bit of the animation. So we'll just add a thing that blocks everything again, or blocks flying away. And we'll scale it up with up on the D-pad. And we could just do that. This comes in through active. When it active becomes off, then it will send a pulse through fly away but really we want it to when this comes on um yeah let's do it this way so we want this to know if this is off like that and as soon as while this is off um, and then as soon as this uh, allows through a signal, it should send a pulse through. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And pulse it on. So this will send a pulse when this signal is on, which means that it's no longer active. But it will wait until it's allowed to go through, and then it will pulse and do this stuff. So let's see if that works. So that works fine. Now while it's drinking, yay! It works so good. But we do want to allow it to skip to the end here if we want to move on. So a block away, but then we'll turn on a thing that will snap it to this point if it's before this point. Remove that trim start with triangle. Let's add a keyframe outside of the timeline and hold L1 while moving the playhead and then it's it will remember where the playhead is uh, as a percentage of the overall timeline. So if we put this to right near the end there and turn on keep changes that means that it will set it to that point in the timeline and then let it continue kind of thing. So for testing I'm going to have a switch, uh, making it into a pulse, and then power that. So let's actually put this onto a chip so that I can see it all. Pin that to the screen. So if you play it, it goes through into idle. Starts drinking at some point. you do that it snaps right to the end um, which is what we want yeah right to here and then does the little coming up animation and then it works so we'll put this onto the timeline before that point and while we're because we also don't want it to happen while we're moving down to drink just while we're drinking we do that and then if we are anticipating flying away because this is not active we can use that to power that so now if we're here and then we want to fly away we'll skip to here and then play the rest uh, hopefully so let's see Oh, a minute. I should probably be over the edge. 
That should be over the edge. I think they should all be over the edge actually, so that there's no gaps. Oh, that shouldn't that shouldn't block that one because that's the one it's going to. Yeah, so that shouldn't block none because that's the one that's going to. It works. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. Go to patreoncom tapgiles to get 5 hours of tutorials early for $3. Here's a preview of what you can learn if you choose to become a supporter. Thank you.